Hey, Shalom. First of all, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakadash. Yahweh, who the world eagerly calls God. Yahweh Shah, who the world eagerly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles, a great millstone who has taught me this truth. I want to give a peace and blessings to the Akim across the four queens of the earth who, who teach this truth from rest of life to do so. It's going to be a quick video. Low on the videos, edify and lonely. I can get something from this video. Uh, basically, what this video is going to be about is about, um, you know, we're under the wicked. And you got to understand that. Uh, this man is completely at, you know, against the Lord. Okay. Um, I was watching a video earlier. Um, some of the elders had went into uh, a couple different things um, that this so-called white man is doing, um, just with the food poisoning the, you know, the vegetables and, you know, um, just you know, trying to bring down the masculine masculinity in men. Okay. Um, and that that's that's you know. That's that's all that's been a plan for a long time for these devils, man. It's been a plan for the world, you know, and that's really why, like, if you ever notice, you know, if you ever come in, you know, to an area where there's a lot of Edomites, right? You a Jake, you come into a lot of area where there's a lot of Edomites, these motherfuckers will get, um, they'll tuck their tail, man. They'll, they'll, they'll get, uh, you know, easily offended, you know what I mean? They'll get, they'll get, uh, how do you call it? Intimidated. There you go. You motherfuckers get intimidated because naturally, all right, naturally, there's some, they're, they're weenies, man. Okay. They're lames and weenies. Okay. And they're, they're, you know, they got feminine ass ways and traits. Although they come off tough, although they come off hard and this and that and blah, but really they, you know, these, these are the type of guys that submit to their women, to their women. They let their women do all kind of shit to them behind closed doors. Right. Um, they're a bunch of freaks, right? This goes to show you, man, like, hey, <laughs> you know what I mean? They, you know, they don't, they're not masculine men, naturally. They're not masculine men, man. So when they see something masculine or see a man that's masculine, right, they they get offended, man. You know, you, you, Jake, Jake, what, naturally got a deep ass voice most of the time, right? Jake, you know, when he in his right mind, he walk upright. Right, you know, we got different traits than than these heathen, okay? But guess what? That makes them intimidated. That makes them intimidated, man. So what? You gotta sometimes you gotta like we do business with them, right? You do business with them, right? You doing transaction with them. Some you gotta come, you gotta come. Sometimes you gotta stoop down to their level, you know, so they don't get too offended or they, they don't, you know, they don't get out of the mood of buying. <laughs> You know what I mean? You know, so their agenda has always been, well, you know, especially for the last couple of years, you know, uh, to to demasculize the uh, the society, you know, and, and, and that's why you got this whole uh, this whole uh, transformer movement, right? Being pushed heavily, this whole drag movement being pushed heavily, this whole mo movement being pushed heavily. Okay, I saw the other day um, that. Uh, you can get it, they're making it now to where it's against the law to have your kids uh, to say to call your kid a boy or a girl, right? If the kid is a boy and you call him a boy and the kid doesn't want to be a boy, you can get in trouble if you if you try to correct them, right? So this is what it's come to. This the society is coming up to the peak wickedness, which means it's getting ready to fall, because now you finna see the evidence of the Lord if you haven't been seeing it already. Okay, so like I said, just a quick video. Um, I'm parked now, so let me get into a couple of scriptures. It's Habakkuk 2, and um, let me go down. I'll go to 3. It says, uh, well, I'll go to 2. It says, and the lawyer Howard answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may uh, run that readeth it. Okay, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. So the vision is speaking now. The son of perdition is being revealed now. Okay, it says, and not lie, right? Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So, though it tarry, wait for it because it's going to come. Scriptures say, What the, the Lord is not a man that he shall lie. Okay, it says, Behold, this is for behold, his soul which is lifted up, li his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, right? The so called white man, right? His soul is not up, it, it, it's not upright in him, it's not, it's not. I mean, he's a very perverse being, these Edomites, man. 
Okay, look where they come from. Right? Look how they used to live. Okay? It says, but the just shall live by his faith. Okay? It says, yeah, also because he transgresseth by wine, he's a proud man, neither keepeth at home. Right? Who enlargeth his desire as hell and, as, and is as death and cannot be satisfied. Yeah, this so-called white man isn't satisfied. He, he, he's not satisfied with blood He's not satisfied with robbery He's not satisfied with the amount of murders he's committed Right, and as a nation He's not, he's he, like, scriptures even saying Obadiah, when the, the thief come and steal Till he had enough This motherfucker, come, he steal the grapes He steal the uh, the uh, All of the grapes He steal the, the crops He steal the land, he steal the dirt Right, he steal all that shit Okay, and then he justifies it or tries to justify it. And then guess what? He lay his, try to lay his rule down and try to lay his law down. That's what he does, right? Showing you that he's completely against the Lord, man. These, they, I mean, these heathen have no traits of an Israelite man in the scriptures. Not one. They don't have any. And, and the ones who do have traits and the ones who do believe in Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, they're not heathen. They may look like heathen, but they really go back to being Israelites by the way of their father. Because you got to understand, before this devil was in uh, was in rulership, we ruled. I mean, this devil just got into rulership during the, the Renaissance period, really, till now. Okay? But before that, we was running shit. Okay? It says, uh, hey, I mean, you look at the Moors, man. The Moors was really running shit in Europe. Which are Israelites who, you know, took on the, the Muslim religion. But still, nonetheless, you know, their bloodline goes back to Israel, being Israelites. Right? They ran Europe. They showed you devils how to how to how to how to bathe, how to properly do certain things, man. You know? How to have certain systems set up. You know, certain uh, uh plumbing and all that set up. You know? It says uh but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. Right? America. Look at it. It's 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 all nations are here. Right? They call it what? A melting pot. All nations are here. Okay, it says, Shall not all these take a parable against him and the turn and proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his? How long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay. Yeah, the thick clay going into the debt. Okay. That thick clay going into the debt, and I read the other day, you know, they're uh, they're paying uh, 1.3. It was either 1.3 or 1.8. I think it's 1.3 tr uh, billion dollars in interest every day. Okay, this is what's going on, man. Okay, I said, and, and and I mean, just with the debt alone, approved that America's going to fall. Okay, it's Habakkuk two and seven. It says. Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake that shall vex thee and thou shalt be for booties unto them? Spoil. That's what booties mean. All right. It says, because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land of the city and of all that dwell therein. Yeah. And what? Scripture say what? The beast shall hate the whore. These other nations will send missiles upon this place. And that's that fire that that scriptures is talking about. Okay, so with that, man, love when the video is edifying. Love when you brothers got something from this video. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to you. How about Hashem? How about Shah? How about Shimra Kakadash? I want to tell you, brothers, keep pushing on to the next. Shalom.